Yes, it is. Just started playing an ad on my... On my... Whatever. I don't know what to call it. Oh, where's my controller for volume? Because I actually want to hear the game, too. Gosh, all of a sudden it got really hot. That sucks. Gosh, I hate the summer. Alright. That sounds good. Uh, let me get... Oh, the... Not the stream, the actual game. Cool. Alright, I got a different... Uh, what's the word? Mic? This time today? I'm using my mic. Which is not as good as the mic I was using the other day, so I hope that my audio sounds good. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna move you over here so I can see better. Alright, I think, I think it should be good. Alright. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna load up my old file now, or my new file that we just made yesterday. No point in holding out anymore, just gonna get right, right to it. Alright, so, uh, that was a whole Hades deal, we completed the Olympus Coliseum, we're going home now. Or as home as you can get to home in this world, which would be... Traverse Town. Which of course means, uh, Gummy Ship. Alright then, so hello, I was actually hoping to stream, like, as soon as I woke up. But because of things, I wasn't able to, and I was really, really bummed out by it. Like, it, we shouldn't be in hour one. We should be in, like, hour six of the stream. I was really hoping to stream, like, crazy today. I just couldn't. Fucking sucks. But, eh, what better time to start than really late? It's much later than I wanted to start. Anyway. Uh, and it also sucks because I can't stream a lot tomorrow. I got a bunch of other things I want to watch tomorrow. Because I have to go to sleep early tomorrow since I work on... Uh, the other day, so it just really fucking sucks. I, why do I keep doing that? I always hold down the fire button even when I don't need it. Gosh dang. Anyway. I was about to say, why does this gummy ship rat look different? It's because I've never done the Traverse Town, uh... Olympus gummy ship route yet. Not in this, uh, game anyway. We avoided Olymp uh, going back to Traverse Town like the plague. It's funny because the last time I played the game, was it for Proud Mode? I don't remember, but last time I had to keep going back to Olympus to get... Not Olympus, uh, Traverse Town to buy stuff. Because we all need good stuff to buy. Okay, and then we'll go back to, uh... Traverse Town and start the next... Line of missions, I guess. Or objectives. Which, we have to go see Leon because we have these two new gummy ship pieces that we got from... Uh, where do we get them from again? Um, Wonderland and Deep Jungle. And we need to figure out what's up with these, uh, gummy ship pieces. And, uh, of course, Leon will definitely know what's up with them. He's a smart. He knows everything. And there's Traverse Sound. We made it. In one piece. We're alive. Boom bams. Here we are. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Anyway? Oh, and a user popped up. Hello, decaf smurf. Um, I did this stream really quickly, because like I mentioned not too long ago, I just, I really wanted to stream. And I was unable to, so I'm like, you know what? Just do it. Uh, underground cavern. He trains there often. Oh yeah, right, of course. I actually don't know if I have to talk to you for you to trigger that. I probably don't, but whatever. Might as well. No reason not to. I have the red. Yeah, I got the red trinity after deep jungle, right? I believe I did.
I asked the Dalmatians. We won't be rescuing all 99 of them this time. Simply because, uh, you know, got much, many more things to do. Sorry, uh, puppies. Alright, so we're gonna be going to... That's the alleyway behind... Uh, in District 2 somewhere. We'll figure it out. Oh, I don't want to fall. Darn it. Get down here. Gosh. They're moving patterns. Yep. Grab onto the ledge. I guess I'll go the long way. Ah yes, more materials. Yay. That we're definitely going to use at some point. Yeah, maybe we should just go into the uh, gizmo shop. I don't know why I keep wanting to do the objectives that I absolutely do not need to do. And there's no reason for me to go into the gizmo. Well, actually, that's not true. I do need to go in there. Not immediately right now. It's something for later, but I mean, might as well. Wow. Right off the edge. Yeah, that's actually something that really sucks about this game. That some places are really, really not good to fight on. Uh, like, we just did in... Was it Deep Jungle or Wonderland? It was in Wonderland. When you're up on the tree and enemies spawn, I never fight those enemies. Because it always ends with me comboing off the side. Because there's like no way to maintain... To stay up there. And it just gets worse in some other worlds. Like, Hollow Bastion, above all, is a place where it's like, yeah, you're actually not making any good progress in this world. Like, I mean, you, you, if, if you think to fight something, chances are you'll chase it off the battlefield, fall down, and just lose tons of progress. You have to go through a bunch of elevators and shit, and it's bad. No one likes it. It's funny, I was hoping to watch uh, another Godzilla movie last night before I went to bed, and I started to. I was watching uh, Godzilla vs. Hedora, the smog monster, and, uh... I watched like 30 minutes of it and I had to stop because I was just falling asleep. It wasn't bad. I was actually enjoying it. I wanted to know more, but I was just tired. I was exhausted. See ya. Yay, Donald leveled up. Which really sucks because I, I like, ah. I should have watched it now, but then I was playing Hyrule Warriors. To make up for the fact that I couldn't stream. I made some good progress in Hyrule Warriors, so that's good. Yeah, I, I like uh, Godzilla vs. Adora so far. Ooh, I learned her class. So I can't wait to uh, continue it and finish the rest of it. So I need to watch... Uh, I didn't watch any Toku last night either since I was too tired, so I should do that. I should reward myself with that after I finish this stream. Gosh, I hate you guys. Stop flying out of range, just let me hit you. Thank you, Goofy. Save the day right there, you did, bro. Alright. How do I do this? There was a- oh wait, uh... Oh, the way. Okay, right before I do the Gizmo Room stuff, I just remembered I need to shock that thing in the third district. So we'll go there later, let's start by talking to Leon right now. Which means ignoring all these enemies. Thank you, camera. I didn't get to see all the little guys die. Ignore these guys once again, they're not gonna destroy us yet. Alright, I can't ignore them, I need to actually or just wait for them to despawn. Whatever. Same deal.
I bet Leon's probably like, there's like a switch, man, to open. You don't need to... whatever. Hey, Leon. Sup? We found two, actually. We're that good. Lost to the darkness forever. Oh yeah, and uh, hey, can you take a look at this gummy and tell us what it does? It's very important. Or we could ask soon. That makes more sense. I like how he gives us something that he doesn't even know how to use. Poor guy. And now he's having an existential crisis. So yeah, uh, we I forgot about that. The summon gem. I should I should hit up Merlin's house in the third district, which is something else I didn't do last stream. You can go in there like immediately. But I was like, I don't need to, and then I'm like, oh wait, I do need to. If I want to use the summons, which I don't even think I will. Maybe once or twice. It's not a big deal to me though. They are cool though. I like the summons. Stop being an annoying little bugger. Onward! I'm trying to figure something out. What was I gonna... Was I gonna say anything that's interesting or am I just being boring? I don't know, I had so much... Well, I guess the reason I had so many conversation topics yesterday was because there was a lot of people in the stream. And right now there is literally nobody. Oh, one person. Which, one person is totally fine. But no one else. None of the, like, big... Uh, people who always come by and stick around. They're probably busy, occupied, doing something else. Not surprised. That's gonna be me tomorrow. I got Smash tomorrow. Smash Direct. I'm really hoping it's good. I, I very... Well, I mean, at the same time, I doubt that there's anything they could announce that would disappoint me. I mean, there's probably like maybe one or two things, but even then, it's like, I highly, I highly doubt anything will happen, like anything quote-unquote bad. So I can't wait to see it. I don't have to wait long. I love that they announced directs like so soon. It's not like next week or anything like that and have us chilling ourselves for a week. It's like, oh, in two days, this is gonna happen. You're gonna like it. Remember, this is actually the place where I tried to train when I did that proud mode game. Uh, because a lot of enemies do spawn here. The issue is that, of course, because once again I was doing... Uh, not proud beginner. Because I was doing uh, those other achievements. Trophies. Whatever. Whatever! Because I was trying to do that, it just... Man, the fighting here took forever. Way too long. It drove me insane. And there, Goofy leveled up too. Nice. Earning his own move. Alright, is everyone dead now? So I can... Oh, what, what are you... Alright, can I... Oh gosh, where did you all come from? Jeez, that's... 
that's a lot of enemies. There are a lot more here than I thought. At the same time, I am playing through the game much quicker and I'm not doing a bunch of side bonus stuff, so that probably is what leads to me, uh... To me, uh, not being able to kill things as quickly. But I mean, I beat both the Proud game and that beginner game at, like, level 55, whatever, 55, 56. So as long as I get to, like, 60 by the end of the game, I'll, I'll be good. These stupid rocks. Definitely don't want to fall down there. Those things. Uh, you have to swim all the way back to the beginning. Good old yellow trinity right there. Why does Merlin scene takes a while? I don't really need to know much about it because it's just Merlin. There's something about this musty place. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kyrie? Sora? Hey, don't interrupt when Sora's having a crazy mental breakdown and seeing people who aren't actually there. Alright, of course, Merlin. Hello, Merlin. Like, apparently this place is supposed to be for, uh, training magic, but I'd never really use it. Yes, yeah, so he's like, ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's not me not caring about the story, I've just already read this a bunch. Good old, well, I mean, actually, I do come back here a lot because this is where another of the places is. Can't forget about that. Oh, I got another viewer. Who else is here? Oh. Somebody showed up. I don't know who you are. Like, wait a minute. How did you... I, I was going to ask this yesterday. I don't know why I did. How did you change your username? Like, it, it was El Condor before, right? Because I've been wanting to change my username for forever. Because uh, I don't know. Actually, I do know. So, give me a second. Your king asked me to train you in art. Blah, blah, blah. We can start any time. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Okay, you know what? I'll ignore this. Um, what was it? Uh, back in... Jeez, that was a long time ago. I had a, My original YouTube channel was called Anime Rules 92. You know? Back when I actually liked anime. It was a really really like I didn't really do much of note I think the YouTube channel is still open unless I did something that caused it to get shut down it's still there um I like like I mean it was fine I didn't mind using it the issue was I didn't like the name anymore because it just sounded so dumb and cheesy and in my head I was like when I become a famous YouTuber I don't want to be known as anime rules 92 that's dumb but uh so like I made another YouTube channel and uh, I wanted my I wanted my YouTube name to be like reminiscent or to basically be like a version of my real name because like a lot of people at the time had had things like and at the time I was watching a bunch of like the famous YouTube bloggers and stuff like that you know um, who just had very simplistic YouTube channel names and so I'm like well I guess I'll just try to turn my name into a YouTube name what I imagine a YouTube name would be and so I came out with uh, What's it called? Uh, Condor K92. And, uh, that was... That was my guess. Uh, that, that was, like, the best way that I went about doing it. And, uh, like, I think it sounded okay, but... Like, at the same time, I still don't know why I didn't just go with Enies 20 which is my name on everything. I don't know why I just... Why I didn't feel like doing that, and I went with Condor K instead. So, my YouTube channel, though, it does allow you to change the name of it. So I changed it to to Ian's 20 a few months ago and now everything is Ian's 20 
You, if you go to old videos, you can see that I still call myself Condor K, and, it's, and the video intro of the show is still, of my episodes is still Condor K. But, um, examine. But, uh, like, for, for Twitch? So why isn't she looking at my summon gem? I feel like I had the same problem back in the previous, uh, the previous time I played this game. I couldn't figure out why she wouldn't look at my summon gem and give me my summon. I uh, maybe she'll do it some other time, whatever. At least I have that place open and there's a save point there, good. And, uh... What was I saying? It's about my username, right? So YouTube changed, but Twitch doesn't let me change my username. All it does is, I think, allow you to adjust the capitalization on your current name. Which I try to draw attention to, but no one ever pays attention. They see it and they call me Condork. Everybody does that. And it's another reason I hate this username, because no one gets it right. And I'm so mad. Like, I wish there was a way to change my username. Like, forever, because I, I want to. I don't like it. I don't like that it displays that. I mean, it could display that all at once, but I'm always going to refer to myself as the Unis 20. Because that is my username for now and forever. Stop. Leave me alone. Jeez, you guys are nosy. Oh. Every couple months, really? But I didn't- I didn't- haven't changed mine at all, and they won't let me change it. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess I'll give it a shot then. Oh, let's turn this on. Okay, cool. And then let's open this door. I like the way this door opens. It's like, oh hey, you unlocked it. That little thingy do means that you unlocked it. I see. Like, where do you go to do it? Like, so I can do it right now in the middle of my stream. Which I doubt it'll change anything right now. That's fine. Hey, Sid. Navigation gummies. Yes, lend us a hand, Sid, with your gummy ship expertise. With navigation gummies, you can go to new places. Yeah, okay, it broadened my horizons. Make me awesome. Oh yeah, you're gonna do that for me? Cool. Oh, what do you got? Oh, now he wants me to go see Merlin. Great. Alright, alright. That was the gizmo clock. The gizmo shop clock. Bell. Whatever. Alright. Yeah, I'll deliver the book, man. Don't, don't, don't get all stingy on me. So it says right here that I can update my username. I'm looking at it. It says you may update your username, but I can't select it. Like it's all grayed out. Like it shows my display name. It says I can customize the capitalization of my username, but it won't let me adjust my username. Yeah, it just shows my name all in lowercase, uh, in gray, and it, there's a little 
like pencil icon at the end, and it says you may change your username. Like, you can, but it won't let me. Is it because I'm streaming? Because I swear that even when I'm not streaming, I'll go check that page out and it's still like that. Weird. Alright, I'm gonna ignore you guys again. I need to go see Merlin. Again. I'll click the pencil? It takes me to the same page. At least that's what it looked like it did. Oh my gosh, I hate these rocks so much. I can't wait till I can skip this. Oh no. If this becomes a new vines, I'll be very upset. Actually, I mean, real talk, I have an issue with Twitch. Uh, but it's not Twitch's fault, at least I don't think it is. Maybe it is. But for some reason, on all my uh, browsers that I use, Twitch does not like to do pop-ups. Like I mentioned before, when I try to uh, uh, send my streams over to YouTube, I hit the export button, and then the dialog box is... I don't even know if they close. I don't think nothing happens. Like, nothing pops up. I just hit the button and there's, like, no feedback. And it's just its really annoying. The game doesn't... The, the, the Twitch doesn't tell me anything. About, like, oh, this, you did it. Uh, export complete or export started. And it's just, like, it's really annoying. Somehow it found its way into my bag one day. Yeah, it did indeed. We'll never ever know how it got in there. See, now he lets me do it. Okay, I just got there too early. Alright, skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Okay, Simba can join me. There we go, so I have access to the 100 acre wood and I have access to Simba. Which means this is the part where we ignore the 100 acre wood. The 100 acre wood isn't like, it's not bad. I just don't want to do it. Simple, simple as that. I mean, I don't have to do everything in these streams. If I, if I want to, I can finish the game without... What's the word? Without, uh, completing Olympus. I don't need to do Olympus. There you are. What's when going suddenly, on? Riku. Does Riku. that make sense? Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Soon? Just leave everything to me. Dude, you don't know anything about how these games work. Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kairi too. Okay, here we go. Alright, I figured it out. Who are they? <laughs> we visited oh, so it'll many reset my stats? Ah, whatever. Worth it. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora's the Keyblade Master. Who just that? What's that mean? So this is called a keyblade? Stop stealing things, Riku. Hey, give it back. Butterfingers. I mean uh, greasy greedy fingers. I don't know, whatever. Catch. Whoa. Okay. So you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Forget us. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. Riku? Nice going. Oh, well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kairi soon, too.
All right, give me a second. Reloading my stream. What the hell? Okay. Alright, then yeah, my new name. I got a new name. Thank goodness. With any luck, it makes, uh... Give me a second. Alright, just messing with my little settings in the background. Alright, I think everyone's still here, right? Nothing broke? Alright, awesome. Alright then, let's uh, just continue. I'm gonna go... Right, he said to go to the, to the, to the house after I uh, did the thing. Yeah, if you want to reload your stream, my name is now different. Yay. Here I was... Con it, yeah, it was indeed um, the browser. I switched over to Microsoft Edge and it just... Once again, it actually loaded a pop-up. Something's up with Google Chrome and Twitch and it's they're not happy. Yeah, it did the same for me. Hopefully, well, I mean, I guess not. I guess all my old links don't work anymore. So, if you don't mind, like, uh, taking this link for Ianese20, uh, the new name, and putting it in the group chat for me, just in case, because I think if anyone hits the the uh, Connor K92 link, it might just take them completely somewhere else, or not even anywhere. It'll be like, uh, where are you going? I'm gonna actually test it out myself on my Tumblr since I link my own thing. Ah yes, they're talking about Maleficent. No one gives a shit about Maleficent. She stays around way past her welcome. Yes indeed, I just I just tried to go through uh, Tumblr and it's all like, sorry that page is in another castle. Yeah, it doesn't like it. A wise man named Ansem. He was pretty wise. You could almost say he was the wise. Nothing is ever easy. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Alright, just sharing it around. Making, like, I'm reposting some of my other links. Simply because, you know, to make it easier for everybody. And there. We're all good. For now on, it all makes sense. I really had no idea it was that easy. Because it was... I'm not even kidding. It was always giving me issues. Alright. 
right, your real job, which, like, what? So then what were you doing in that place? Was that your summer job? I hope the audio is good for everybody who's here, um, because like once again, I, I don't know if anyone can tell, but I did say this at the beginning of the stream, I don't think anyone was here though. I have, I'm using a different mic, I'm using my own actual personal mic, the one that belongs to me, and it kind of sucks compared to my Sixers mic that I've been using up until now. And my intention was to start streaming like, like I woke up at let's say 9, I think. I was gonna just you know have breakfast, maybe watch some stuff on YouTube. And then at maybe 11 o'clock at latest, I was gonna start streaming. And it was just gonna be, I was gonna have a ball. But I didn't know. My sister chose to work from her home today. And so because of that, she was having a meeting. And I was like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stream while she's doing work in there. But then I don't wanna, I don't wanna miss out on streaming today. Cause then if I, if I don't, then the next time I get to stream for as long as I want is next Tuesday. And I don't wanna wait a week. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll use my shitty mic and I'll force myself to stream because I want to make more progress. I need to make more progress. We already have a president for four hour stream, so hopefully this one is just as long. If not longer, let's just keep going. Who needs to stop? Who needs food? Right, let me check my thing, because for a brief second I said I had four viewers. Nope. Okay, that was a lie. I don't know why I lied like that. Oh yeah, I didn't use those boosters. I should. They're gonna make me absurdly powerful. I mean, like there's really no reason to give them to Donald or Goofy. There literally is none. You can if you want to, but there's no reason. Since you can only really play as Sora, and Sora's the only important one. As for the AP up, it depends on who has more abilities that they can't use. Hurricane Blast. Sure. Uh, does... Oh, Donald has MP Haze? Cool. And Goofy has... Treasure magnet. Equip it. And tornado. Well, I mean, obviously you can't equip it because, uh... Just remove this, and there we go. Cool. Alright then. Uh, so we're gonna be going to the gizmo shop. This time for real. Oh, jeez. Yes, indeed, that was fast. Yeah, because when you're playing at a really enhanced rate, where unlike I normally play the game, I'm not going to stop at every single Heartless encounter. I might do a few here and there, like these ones here, and definitely what I do in the Gizmo Shop. But chances are, if I have to backtrack through a place, like I did for Tarzan like crazy, then I'll just skip it. Oh, jeez. Gosh, that makes it so easy to take them out like that. Wow. Anyway, let's go into the gizmo shop and actually start messing with it. Because I turned on the power to it. That's what I did in District 3. <laughs> yeah, they are. Man, that's disgusting. Why would you say it like that? But it's also true. Over here. I hate large bodies. Large bodies and fat bandits both suck. But large bodies are far worse because of that like temporary invincibility thing they could do. 
fat bandits don't do that. But they're still really annoying, even if they can't do that. I'm also really grateful for the Jungle King. I love this thing. Alright, so I think it's like three switches that I have to hit or something. These, those switches give you absolutely zero feedback whatsoever. It's like, okay, I guess you pressed me, down I go. No sound effect, no nothing. It's just, ah, uh, da. Uh... At least I don't think they make a sound effect. I can't really hear it. Might be really subtle. Oh, well, there it went. Stupid magic bags just popping up everywhere. I hate you all. Let's go uh, a little off the path and get some, get some, get some alternate things I don't really need. Oh, there's treasures there. Yes, thank you, Hurricane Blast. That's what that weird, like, uh, Tempest-looking attack is. Hurricane Blast, so useful. I still one left. Okay, never mind, it despawned. And it respawned. That's, like, one of the worst things about this game. I think all the other Kingdom Hearts games fixed it. Where, uh, it doesn't matter if enemies are around, you can still open chests and stuff. It's, like, one of the best changes of all time. This is not, though. Can I examine? It's a really bizarre postcard. You're just kind of there. Where's that chest? Oh, there it is. Can I get to it? Yes, I can. Alright, cool. And it's another postcard. I wasn't sure about that. I thought it was something different. Oh man, I don't have much to talk about. I think I dried out all my topics yesterday. Well, not really. It's, once again, chat interaction. There's always a lot more to talk about when chat says something that I could then react to. Otherwise, it's just boring me sitting here playing a game at a relatively decent pace. Where is it? What did I even do today? Like, I did play Hyrule Warriors again. Once again, simply because I couldn't stream. And I was really pissed off. So I wasn't having fun playing Hyrule Warriors, I was just kind of playing Hyrule Warriors. I'm, uh, where am I in that game? I guess to judge completion is using the adventure mode in that game. Every adventure mode map has its own percent completion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you did. Um, unfortunately I didn't get to finish it. Like, that's another bummer, because if I'd finished it, I've had, I would have had a lot more to talk about. But I didn't finish it. I couldn't. I, I started watching it at a, like 10 o'clock, I think. Maybe something like that? I don't remember when. But I got 30, 33 minutes into the movie and then I just passed out. The movie wasn't boring me. I was actually really interesting. But I was just exhausted. Like, I was just laying there like... Oh man, I just wanted to sleep. Uh, but the movie I watched last night was get, uh, Godzilla vs. Hedera the Smog Monster. Really cool movie. Um, Hedera is actually really creepy. 
like it's this weird black tadpole looking monster sort of that's what they call it in the movie and it has these gigantic red eyes and it just I don't, it looked really creepy there's a scene where it attacks a dude underwater and I'm like that was unnecessarily creepy and it grew a body and now it can get on land and it was fighting Godzilla and it, it throws itself at Godzilla and it's kind of unsettling so they fought and then, and then Hedera ran away, and then Godzilla chased after it. And then something else was happening with the people. And then I'm like, I just can't. I really want to finish it, though. Because it, it, it was looking to be a good one so far. I think probably the best one since uh, Ghidorah. I found the keyhole. See, I do like it. Uh, I just need a... Oh, fucking guard armor. I should have finished it before I started streaming, but I was playing Hyrule Warriors, and I was watching Heroes and Halfwits, and I was watching other things. But I really should have just finished the movie. I definitely have a lot to talk about the next stream, though, since I'll be watching a lot more things. Obviously, I'm going to talk a lot about the Smash thing. Guard armor, you bitch. He's like, Transformers, roll out. Uh, now we got opposite armor. Use his HP. That that's all the weapons I got. Look at that. I mean, all the all the stat boosts I got. But I hate the freaking uh. Look, ma, no hands. <laughs> but uh, I got the uh. Whenever I think about guard armor, for some reason, I always default to the Chain of Memories boss fight against him, which is a really, really annoying one. I don't know why. Actually, I think it also might be because it's, uh, the, the boss fight against guard, guard armor in Chain of Memories actually takes place here, not at, not at District 3. That was fast. Once again, definitely the stat boost that I picked up, no doubt about that. And then I gotta go talk to Sid so he can tell me that his real job is selling gummy ship pieces. And I might also buy some, uh... Potions or something? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it is. Did you actually catch that boss fight? Because it was over in like 30 seconds. But yes, uh... It's it's so astoundingly different from his original color, too. Like, originally, he's just like purple. Right? But then for, for uh, this game, they're like, let's make him all patriotic for some reason. And he's red, white, and blue. Yeah, uh, uh, earlier in the stream, I... Yeah, yeah. Earlier in the stream, I used um, all the six defense and power, uh, defense ups and attack ups, so I just ripped through guard armor and opposite armor. That was quick. I beat up the boss like no problem. Does he actually give you a, a discount? He does not. What a liar. Yeah, that's, that's, that's beginner mode. They give you uh, six attack ups, six defense ups, and like four AP ups to start the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm only playing on beginner mode. Uh, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the, of the stream because I want to get through all the games in a month. And if I hit any of the roadblocks that I normally do playing the game in standard mode, I'm not going to be able to clear them all by the time September rolls around. So, just going to make it easier on myself. Although that's not true, I'm actually going to play one game not on proud mode, I mean not on nor not on beginner. One of, the, one of the games is not going to be a beginner. All the other ones will be.
I had to resend out my stream link because I changed my username. Thanks to my sis, I know how to do that now. Oh yeah, right, they sell weapons here too, right? Probably the weirdest, dumbest thing about this game is that they don't tell you what the stats for these uh, weapons actually are. I thought that that was like a typo with the emulator, the ROM I was playing once, once upon a time, but nope. They literally don't tell you how how much stronger these ones are than the other ones. So dumb. Anyway, uh, there and there. I think that's all we need here. I don't know if it used to, I really thought it did, but as you saw right there, the description just says, Oh, this weapon does this, but it doesn't actually give you stats. When you go to equip them, they do. The issue is that maybe sometimes like they add four different weapons to the, uh, to the shop, but it's like, well, how do you know which one's the one that you actually want? You know, right? That would be true, except that some of them are different. Like, Goofy has two different kinds of shields. One is stronger but it's smaller which means he doesn't actually block as much as he does normally and the other one is bigger and blocks basically but it, it is not stronger and then for donald he's got the ma he's got the staff that improves his magic and then he has the staff that improves his defense and drops his magic so i guess you go with your one you want Yeah, that's true. But I mean, why would you ever want Donald to hit stuff? It's like, pointless. Wait, why am I here? The Donald's not as- Oh, well, they did this to- uh... I mean, we're already here. Might as well. I was about to be like, I should probably not be here. I'm supposed to be going to, uh... To, um... Uh, uh, the next world. And then I, st I actually, I, I went to warp here so that I could then drive to the other place and then I forgot to do that. Like, it's, you know what? It's actually really annoying that I made the mistake of doing. When I was playing the game of beginner for those, uh, trophies, for not changing equipment, I got to this, uh, I'm like, oh, well, you know, the, the uh, Hercules world is probably really good for grinding. It is. The issue is I went there to grind after the uh after after hollow bastion and after hollow bastion the enemy level the enemy levels and difficulty increases across all the worlds and that includes in these tournaments so when i came back to grind the the enemies had all become super powerful so the fill cup was like impossible for me to do and i was like oh well fuck this then and i just left Because these guys aren't actually stuck to how hard they are now, which I wasn't aware of that. I, I thought that the, the difficulties for the enemies in these uh, cups was maintained through the entire game. I had no idea that when the worlds all increase in difficulty, the cups, the old cups that exist before, get harder too. Because I mean, I never really do them that much. I mean, you only really have to do every cup three times. Once together, once alone, and once on time trial. Uh, do you ever have issues with Donald not healing you? Because I know it's a really popular meme that Donald is, like, terrible at healing. I like, I mean... My issue with Donald isn't that he doesn't heal me, is that he heals me right after I healed myself. Which, that is one of the things people complain about. But he doesn't not heal me ever. I think he's just too quick on the draw because he's an AI, so he reacts faster than I do. But even when I notice that I'm weak and I immediately heal myself, Donald's like, oh no, I got this. Can you set his comm settings, like his AI settings, to use different things? I know you can in Kingdom Hearts 2. They, they let you do a lot more in Kingdom Hearts 2 with 
how Donald and Goofy use their items and stats and stuff. I just forget. I forget if that's a thing in Kingdom Hearts 1. I'll check the menus again. I totally forgot that that existed. I actually didn't even know it existed in the first game. If I did at one point, I had long since forgotten. Keyblade. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Good. Then I should, uh... Well, I mean, I guess I don't really... I've never really seen... I've never... I doubt I've ever actually changed it because it's always just worked out for me. Letting the characters do whatever they want. There's never been a situation where I'm like, why can't you do this right now? It's not that I can think of. Whenever I think about the 100 Acre Wood, I can't help but thinking of the version from Ch Chain of Memories, which I think is probably the worst version of the 100 Acre Wood, but not because of the game. It's not actually about the 100 Acre Wood itself, because in, in Chain of Memories, the, the, the worlds progress the story by like 1%. All the story actually happens in Castle Oblivion, so when you finish a floor in Chain of Memories, and you get to that spot where you go up to the next floor, that's where everything important happens. So that's where the important boss fights are, the story reveals, everything is there in Castle of Oblivion itself, right? When you get the 100 Acre Wood, you get it along with, I think, three other world cards, and the game's like, now you can use them in whatever order you want. The thing is, the 100 Acre Wood is just mini games. There's no, there's no enemies, you can't level up at all during that point. So, you, you complete a world, let's say, you fight a boss, and you're like, now I'm going to do the 100 Acre Wood. You do the 100 Acre Wood, and then you get another boss immediately, after not having fought anything else at all. So it's like, oh, oops. So you, I guess you got to be really careful where you place the 100 Acre Wood when you, go to, uh, when you play Chain of Memories. I'll probably do it first when I get it, simply to get it out of the way. And you could always backtrack to a previous world, and I guess in order to counter that whole deal, leveling up doesn't actually increase any of your stats of note in Chain of Memories. Like attack or anything like that doesn't get affected at all. Yeah, yeah. In, in the uh, in the Coliseum, all the bosses use their original color schemes. The, the bosses that have recolored versions. But the game treats them as different enemies. So, but, but... Well, the game treats them as different enemies, but it also doesn't treat them as different enemies. So, if you go into the journal, it'll, it'll, it keeps track of guard armor as the red, white, and blue one that you fight in the story. Uh, when you compete in the tournament, it calls the guard armor pieces guard armor. Like, they have their own different names, you know, hammer legs or whatever, but if all of them are in a match, then you're fighting against guard armor, I believe. That's what if the game will say. But the journal does not call him guard armor, it calls him red armor. Even though he's not red, he's purple. And, uh, it's, just, it's a really weird thing, because it does the same for stealth sneak, where when you fight two stealth sneaks in the tournament, it says, hey, you're fighting two stealth sneaks. But then the journal lists him as Stealth Army, not Stealth Sneak. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, I scratched. I went to scratch uh, my head, and I almost missed that warp point. Oh, you know what? I just realized I should probably upgrade my. Uh, my gummy ship. Since I have new parts and, I, and Sid's store is open, I should have done that. We'll, we'll do that after this. Like, I mean, it's not really such a necessity. Like, I don't really have to do it, but it'll make these sections a lot easier, especially if I can buy haste and just, like, barrel through this, uh, the gummy ship mission. Not to mention all the additional weapons I can hook onto the gummy. Is 
the world here? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I like how the music changes as you go further in the gummy ship segments. It gets, uh, it gets intense. Especially by the end when it's like, you're going to war. You're going to gummy ship war. There we go, Agrabah! We made it! Who likes Aladdin? I like Aladdin. Aladdin's a good time. That's where we're going, man. Yep. Agrabah. So two things about this world that I immediately don't like. Fat bandits suck, and the Cave of Wonders is a bit annoying to navigate. The, the Heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. So that just leaves... <laughs> also, the Pot Scorpion really sucks, too. But that's a totally different matter. Appeared like magic. <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. Like, is that Iago's actual voice actor? I but think it is. Why worry about Princess? It's just Chesman. like, how did they pull that off? With her or without her, surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final Because there's like, there's some Disney voice actors where it's like, well, obviously, these people are known for nothing else. You know, no well, offense. If the princess is that important, but then there are other voice actors where it's like, ah, huh? It's like, uh, James Earl Jones is listed in the credits of Kingdom Hearts 2 for Mufasa. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The heartless consume the careless. Wait, I gotta fight the careless now? Are you serious? Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. Oh, shit. <laughs> Actually, Agrabah is home to a secret that a lot of people don't know about. I think it's become more common knowledge late, as of late, but it's something that kind of makes people go, what the fuck? And it's actually really funny. So, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll worry about it when we get to it. Until then, we got more important things to worry about, like, uh, the, like, rescuing Jasmine and sealing a keyhole and... Did... Did James Earl Jones voice uh, Vader in Rogue One? I actually don't know. I don't know if I knew. If I knew this. Which, by the way, Rogue One is really good. But, um, I don't know if he did. Get out of the way, Donald! What the fuck? So like before Kingdom Hearts 3 became like before they started releasing info on Kingdom Hearts 3 officially, there was like rumors. Yeah, it was him? Okay, cool. There was rumors that there would be a Frozen World, a Big Hero 6 world, and a Star Wars world, right? And then sure enough, they revealed the Star Wars world. I mean not also sorry. They revealed the Frozen World, like we have actual gameplay footage. That's where the trailers from like E3 took place in. I think there was like a uh there's like a concept art or a promo image for a big hero 6 world but as far as i'm aware i don't think we've seen it at all in any trailers right and then nothing about a star wars world i don't think that rumor was true i think it's just people were just being hopeful unless unless it was true but i don't know if it was i still think it's weird that we've not seen anything about big hero 6 like nothing they just showed that one image which i think confirms that it is in the game at the same time, it's like, well, I don't want to see it. I want to wait till the game comes out. You know, which I imagine is uh, some people's uh, point of view on it. As for me, I don't really mind either way. Whether they show it now or later. Uh, 
Okay, yeah. All right, because Big Hero Six, I felt was real because I remember. I think it was an. I think it was like an official PlayStation Kingdom Hearts or something that shared the image of it. It's just weird that that's all we've ever seen. Like they shared it like last year, and then, or maybe even before that, and then nothing. Like, they never talked about it again. Whether Star Wars happens or not, whatever. Oh my gosh, I'm not doing this on purpose. Yeah, that whole uh, going in Aladdin's house and leaving and going and leaving, that wasn't that was that was not on purpose. Hey carpet. So like I have no idea what this does. It says a gate opened somewhere, but I have no idea what gate, and I have no idea where. Oh. I mean, well, that's the cool answer. Like, because because I did it like that, when I get to Ansem in, a, in like a few dozen hours, I'm gonna be able to beat him in one hit. You're gonna be so amazed. Like, something about going through the loading zones all that time actually takes a bar of HP away from Ansem every time. So when you finally load up the fight against him at the end, he's got like one little sliver left. That's how it works. I know speedrunning. I as the Sultan, who bizarrely is not in a single Kingdom Hearts game. That's another odd thing to leave out. Like once again, there's the Professor not being in Tarzan and then there's the Sultan not being in... Aladdin of the many like 50 times that you visit this fucking world like Tarzan is you only visit her once makes sense Fucking Aladdin you come back here like six times in a row and all that you see here is genie Jafar Jasmine Abu uh, Aladdin and the fucking merchant of all things the Sultan nah he doesn't exist Aladdin where might I find this street rat? Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Is this the only time that ever happens ah, in Kingdom Hearts history? Because I, every single time it happens, it just... It's so jarring. You're reading a text conversation and all of a sudden it becomes like a fully voice acted cutscene. Why? Like, Jasmine has a voice, right? She talks in this game, right? I think she does. Yeah, she does. She does. So, like, they could have just voice acted the whole thing. Like, why is, like, half of it text, and then all of a sudden Jafar shows up, and now it's voiced? I don't get it. Yeah, I just remembered that she's she's yelling uh, when she's uh, inside the pot uh, centipede during that boss fight. Oh, I was going to say, was James Earl Jones... Because I don't remember, I don't remember how I looked this up. His his line... Because he's he's Mufasa, and Mufasa appears in Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, when when Simba's having his uh, Manic Depressive episode, you know? And uh, so Mufasa shows up and he says he says that uh, weird ominous things that only a, a lion superimposed against space can say. And like... I think those lines are exactly the same as what he says in... The Lion King? So it's like... Was the audio just lifted or was it re-recorded? Or is it different? I don't know. I haven't I haven't uh, watched The Lion King in uh, a long time. So I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, I can see that being a thing. Come on! 
I think one of my favorite things about Aladdin is the fact that people freak out over Jafar not having a song. Like, he doesn't have a Disney song. And, uh... But I'm like, well, neither does Hades. In, in Hercules. And, I mean, Jafar is cool, but Hades is freaking Hades. Okay, stop it! That, okay, uh, RNG manipulation. That's the excuse for every weird thing that I do. Oh my gosh. I was trying to get up this ledge to fight the shadows, and they both just went down there. You know what? Screw it. Yeah, people People are really... Uh, it's a really interesting point that people bring up a lot, that Jafar doesn't have a villain song. And apparently, I just... I just uh, watching a podcast, or listening to a podcast earlier today. It has video too, so I guess I also watched it. Uh, they mentioned that Jafar does finally does get his own song in a... The sequel? Aladdin 2? And I'm like, he does? I don't remember that at all. Okay, so what do I do now? I have to go get Aladdin, right? Yeah, because we have Aladdin here when we do the boss fight against the pot centipede. Yeah, the pot, the pot scorpion that I mentioned is the uh, it's the new enemy added to uh, Final Mix that pops up uh, at the palace gates. That thing fucking sucks. It's really not fun to fight. Because the only way you can hurt it is uh, by parrying it. When you parry it, it it it, uh, it flips over and then you hit it in the belly a few times. Hey, look! It's the mythic save point that you'll never see again. This is the only time the save point's ever here. Like, why is it here? Can I go anywhere? Oh, it's a whole Lost Wood situation, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I was about to say, where'd he go? So where's Kumin Kotage? Because Aladdin is straight up getting the Buru right now. We're gonna come back in seven years and fight him inside a Dark Nut armor. Sorry, Iron Knuckle armor. Iron Knuckle is so much cooler than Dark Nut. I don't know why this idea was to change. Like, I guess they didn't change it. I think originally it was Dark Nut in like the first Zelda. But like, why? Iron Knuckle is so much cooler. Oh yeah, uh, against Kurt Zisa? Gorge, not again. I don't think it does. Genie, get rid of these guys. <laughs> Hi Genie. Wish number one coming right up. I would say wishing for the heartless that we were just killing in dozens to be vanished is like a waste of a wish. Thanks, Sora. But you know, whatever. Isn't Aladdin, Aladdin's like second wish to be rich? Here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet and this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon. Please, the kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only genie of the lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp, and have your dearest wishes granted. Today's winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. And the rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. A one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and steal it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left. So, master, what do you have for wish number two? <laughs> How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. 
A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal's free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, I'm so glad they captured um, Genie like so exactly Jasmine. how absurd he is. But she's a princess. It's a lot of fun watching him just uh, she could never fall for do all the things that he does. Genie is fun. Princess. Jasmine? Oh, that's right. You ain't she's never a had a friend one. like me. What? Well, come on, let's get going. Okay, we got a ladder now. Uh, Goofy, get the fuck out. Aladdin is really cool, uh, but like every time I think about him, I think about his Kingdom Hearts 2 self, and I'm just like, he's even better there. Like, I like uh, how he fights and everything in, in, the, in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Not to mention the team attack with Aladdin is like the coolest thing in the world. Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. Again? Oh, right, Fat Bandits start spawning now. Like, they may not have the invincibility that uh, large bodies have, but Fat Bandits still have the absurd King Babom turning ratio that I really hate in enemies. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'll probably stick with the Jungle King even longer because I don't like the Three Wishes Keyblade. Because it's short. It's my issue. Like, even if, even if the Keyblade's better, like, in all... In, in like, every single way. If it has less range, less reach, then I don't want it. It's like the Beauty and the Beast Keyblade. That one is incredibly short, but it does, like... It just, like, critical hits up the ass. Like, constantly. But it's like... Eh, but, 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 but I look at it and I'm like, Well, you're cool and all, but the Halloween Town Keyblade is bigger, so... You know, fuck off. Is the door closed? Right, it is. Not the door, but... The... the... whatever. Onward! What do I stream next? Oh wait, never mind. I have I have like a, a never-ending list of stuff to stream because I already streamed Hyrule Warriors, uh, Xenoblade. I I did some rabbits, some fast racing. What else have I done? I don't know. Like recently, anyway. I've done a bunch. It's always fun, but I'll be oh Injustice. I streamed that too, but I'll be sticking to Kingdom Hearts for a long time. I, when I finally beat all the games, so I wonder what I'll stream next. Oh yeah, I streamed Minecraft 2 for a bit, that was fun. Not counting my Stephen, my uh, my uh... What was it? My Siphon Filter and my Spyro streams that I did from way back. Just 
join this good old game. What really sucks, earlier today I was actually trying to commission an artist. Like, uh, you know, pay for an artist to draw something for you. Unfortunately, the dude, like, we were we were talking, and then I was setting up what I wanted him to do. Like, I asked him if it was okay if I, if I, cause I, like, he's like, what do you want? And I'm like, uh, well, not that rudely, not rude at all. He was actually super cool, really easy to talk to. But he's like, uh, so, like, what's your idea for what you want? And I told him basically that I wanted him to draw one of my OCs. And, uh, and then I was waiting for, like, cause I wanted to make sure that he was fine with that. Cause I don't know, I mean... A lot of the art I've seen him do, do is a uh, fan art of things, so I'm like, I don't know if that's uh, something that he can or he, he, he will do or whatever. So uh, I asked him if he was cool with that, and um, then nothing. And like his post about commissions filled up, like all ten slots that he had opened, and I have no idea if I'm one of those slots. I don't think I am, even though I've been talking to him that I was gonna pay him for like an hour. Or like two hours that I was talking to him, and now I'm just like, I don't know. He just stopped talking to me. And I'm actually sad, because he's a really great artist. And like, I want, like, he's one of the two artists that I've seen recently that do commissions that could perfectly nail the character that I want him to draw. Because a lot of the other characters that he's already drawn are like, yeah, that's like exactly what I would want. So I'm depressed. I'm kind of depressed about that. I don't know. I'm not mad at him, I just, uh, I don't know. I was really hoping that I could, I was, I was gonna pay him. Like, I'm good for it. <laughs> I have a, I have a job, you know, I can do it. No big deal. Yeah, it's really sad. If he comes back to me in a few hours and says, sorry, dude, uh, all the spots are filled, I'll be a little upset, like a really, a smidgen, but, you know, what can you do? I just have to wait for him to open commissions again. The commission thing that he posted, it, what, what did it say? It said, opening commissions again, 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 again. I think like that. So he does it a lot. So I'm sure whenever he finishes these 10 commissions that he took on, uh, I'll be like right there to do it really quickly. So what do I do now? I thought I was supposed to come this way and trigger uh, the boss fight against the pot scorpion. Or do I have to go back to the house? Is that where they were going to talk? Is that what happens? That That's what happened. Okay. Oops. Oops a doopsie. There's another artist I really want to commission, like, super bad, but he actually doesn't have commissions open right now. He's, uh, he's just drawing his own stuff that he wants to draw, and I'm like, ah, oh, totally cool with that. Like, whenever he opens commissions, though, like, as soon as, I'm, like, getting in on that. All right, here we go. There we go. I was just not following the order of operations. Geronimo! Setting your sights a little high, aren't you, boy? Back to your hole, street rat. I will not allow you to trouble the princess anymore. <gasps> Jasmine! I'm so sorry, Aladdin. Genie, help Jasmine, please! One wish left. You're making this really easy, you know. <laughs> so sorry, boy. I'm afraid your second wish has been denied. Huh? My feet are killing me. Every single time I'm I stand sorry, up to do something, they're like, no, why are you doing this? Gosh, work has been a killer and on my feet. now, I bid you all farewell. Attack! Alright, this boss is going to be really hard. Definitely not. Oh gosh, there he goes. Ah. No 
more pots for you. Oh, wow, that's a really small centipede. Like, what programming allows this to work the way that it does? Because normally these areas are all separated by loading zones, so why is it that there's no loading zones now? Yeah, video game development really confuses me. Hey, got an item. Thank you. <laughs> to the desert. Come on, let's move. Oh jeez. Every single time. I'm like, "Oh, cool. The screen's fading. I'll probably just spawn back standing still doing nothing. I'm going to take that time to like I don't know, check my phone or something." The game's like, nope, keep going, man. I was wondering, like, what would I stream next? But I guess that's the beauty of uh, having, like, a legitimate capture card. I can stream whatever I want. That's the best feeling ever. So, I th I, so uh, Spyro, definitely. I think. At the very least, Spyro won. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm constantly going back on Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, I think I've decided not to, but I, I don't know. It all depends. Cause it'd be cool, but you know, like, not this mic, cause this mic is less than an issue, but my other, the other mic, my sister's mic is super good, but it, it records too well, and if I have the game at any sort of decent volume, then it'll catch it, and I don't want that, and also I just kinda wanna play the game as is, I don't know. But uh, that's in January, I'm thinking way far ahead. I'll definitely stream Smash Bros. If anyone else picks up Smash Bros. and like gets the online, because by the time Smash Bros. comes on, the uh, Nintendo Online will be out, so you need to pay for it. But like when that happens, pick it up so we can fight. I want to fight with people. Seriously, what is with these overly giant notifications? Why are there so many things in this game? Freaking, what's the word? Oh, what was the word I used yesterday? They're just incorrect, like the size, the graphic that they use or whatever, is not proper. No, he threw up sand at me, not cool. Ow! Stop smacking me with your light powers. It's trying to knock me off, isn't it? Not gonna work. Up. Oh, maybe it will. No, I'm Shadow Colossusing this shit. One of the more interesting game changes in uh, Kingdom Hearts, between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, is that in Kingdom Hearts 2, bosses can only def be defeated by a finisher. Which I guess looks cool, and it does sound cool in concept, but sometimes it can really suck if you're not... Like, if you're me, and you just suck at that shit. Because literally a boss that sometimes just is, is alive with, like, minimal HP. Like, literally one sliver, and they won't die because I can't hit them with a finisher. Ow. 
meant to do that. It's the good old cave wonders. Uh, navigating this place can sometimes be an issue. But you know, after that shit that we had to deal with with the vines and Tarzan, uh, this is going to be much easier. Like, much easier. Like, this is just going to be... I don't think any other part of the game is going to give me anywhere near as much of a headache as those vines did. Hmm, wait a minute. What's the thing about something? Uh I can I can do that, right? Oh yes, that would make me very happy. So I was I just I just realized something. Um Well obviously much like the Nintendo console, the PlayStation 4 has its own store that you can buy games on. Indie games, other games, but old games. It has old old PlayStation games. I need to look at this. I need to go into the PlayStation Store and see, because, like... Man, if, if the PlayStation Store has fucking Siphon Filter on it, you better believe I'm going to buy that, and you better believe I'm going to stream it. Gosh, that'd make me so happy. And this is my least favorite part of uh, the Cave of Wonders, falling down here accidentally. Yeah, the original one. OG Siphon Filter. Cause like, yeah, like I, w I love to quote uh, Ansem all the time. Or like, not all the time, but a lot. Like, I love the things that he says. Ansem, Zemnus, all of them. But, I've memorized the entire script of Siphon Filter by heart. So like... Dude. I, I was thinking of doing that right now, like just like just pausing the game and going into the PlayStation Store and seeing if I could find the uh, Siphon Filter. But like every time I try to go into the PlayStation Store, it doesn't let me. At least I don't think it does. So I think it's best to just wait until the stream. Until we end the stream. Maybe we'll try to do that at the end of the stream. Just go in and see if it's there. Because you know what other game I want to buy? But it's not on the PlayStation Store. Chrono Cross. Because I want to let's play that. I want to I wanna let's play it, stream it, whatever. I also want to play Chrono Cross. It's just not available. It is on the PS3, I think. But not on the PS4. Not even the PS3, I think Chrono Cross is only available on the PSP. So if you want to get it digitally, you have to buy it on the PSP. Like, who in this day and age has a PSP? Aside from Michael, who's reliving the RPG days. Where'd that door open? Is that that? I can't get in there. So I need to find that thing. Oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Yes, this is what I needed.
My first wish, genie. Show me the keyhole. So I remember that I shared Astros, the trailer for Astros, since he just joined Soul Calibur 6. But, but like I see people sharing uh, Sung Mina as well. And but I can't like I don't see her trailer. Like r whenever I look at like the Facebook page or whatever, Astros trailers was being shared all over the place and talked about. Was Sung Mina revealed before Astros? And I just learned that she's that she's in the game now. Am I late? Or has? Oh, she was in the Astro trailer also? Was that the first time we ever saw her? Okay, I didn't know that. Because I didn't actually watch the Astro trailer. I saw it and I linked it and I'm like, I'll watch it later. And then, as I do with everything, I didn't watch it. So they haven't confirmed Cervantes yet, right? Like, he's the only one I can think of that I'm like, that's another character I'd like to see. I think everybody else that I played as a ton, they already got in. Yeah, because I didn't watch the trailer, so I didn't know that she was in it. I only found out about it on Twitter, and I meant to bring it up later, but I kept forgetting to. Oh yeah, Raphael! I forgot that he hasn't been confirmed yet. Yeah, because I played as, uh... In Soul Calibur 2, who was it that I played a lot as? Keelik was my number one. I always played as Keelik. I like Keelik a lot. So, like, he was confirmed super early, so that's cool. I played as Taki a ton, too. I actually beat the, uh, the Weapon Master mode with Taki. The story mode in Soul Calibur 2. That was the person that I beat it with. She was confirmed, too. Uh... Who else? Oh, I really like the... Yunsung, I think was his name. He was the one who fought with the... Like, his sacred weapon was like a hilt, and then the sword was absurdly long, but it was invisible. That was him, right? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. So yeah, like... But yeah, let's see. Taki. Keelik. And he played his Nightmare a bunch, too. But, uh... Like, who else did I really like? I don't know, it's been so long. I guess Yunsung would be cool, simply because I did like him. I always like his his, his uh, fighting style always felt really quick. Yeah, Raphael was the fencer. Who became like a vampire or some shit later, I don't know. <laughs> he was also he also got the distinct privilege of being the destined battle for Link during uh, Soul Calibur 2. Oh yeah, right. Okay, I was about to say that. Are, like, aren't Yunsung and Sung Mina like friends or something? It's like a uh, Maxi, Shanghua, and Keelik. They're all they're all buddies. You know you're too powerful as an adult when you just spent, um, like when you were, it was 11 o'clock last night and I was watching Godzilla and eating McDonald's. Like that's how you know you have too much power as an adult. And also that you're maximum lazy.
Soul Calibur 6 is looking super good though. I don't think I'll be able to pick up that game simply. Well, I won't be able to because I, I'm That's limiting myself again? to what I can buy. He is more persistent than I expected. But Why it looks so good. Explain the situation to that boy, Riku. Doing so may actually prove useful to our. Wait a second. Are you Maleficent? Whoa, she disassociated so hard she vanished. Not a chance. You see, she's a princess. One of seven who somehow hold the key to opening the door. Open? What door? But you fools won't live to see what lies beyond it. Genie, my second wish. Crush them! <gasps> Genie, no! Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, um, so, all right. So like, y'all know that I watch the CW a lot. Uh, I watch the superhero shows on there, uh, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Flash. I love that shit, they're all really good. I think if I had to rank them, it'd be Flash number one, Legends two, Arrow three. Uh, but they're all really great, uh, I enjoy them. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll just say that. I don't want to get too much into it. Uh, recently they announced that they're doing a new crossover, a new crossover event this, this season. Obviously, they always do that, or next next year, the next crossover event. They always have a big deal. They had aliens uh, two years ago, they had uh, Nazis last year, so they're doing a new one. And this new game, this game, sorry, I'm getting really mixed up, but this new crossover introduces a new city. So, because they, they've gone to Central City, uh, uh, Star City, um, they, they've mentioned Coast City, like, up the ass. They went to Detroit, you know, where Vixen's based out of. They've gone around, but the new crossover that they just announced is going to introduce Gotham City into the uh, Arrowverse, as it's known. And with Gotham, Gotham City comes a wide array of vigilantes. And specifically, they announced that they are going to be bringing in Batwoman into the Arrowverse. She's going to be in the next crossover. And I'm like, oh, that's unexpected. Like, if everyone, like, but I like that. Um, that's interesting. Uh, there's no, like, there's no, like, promotional material, no costume. There was no actor until literally just now. I just opened up Twitter and they're talking about her actor. And the actor, or the actress, actor, whatever, that's gonna play her, is someone that I know only through name for two reasons. One, her show is apparently good, but like it. And for two, her name is fucking Ruby Rose. Okay, so the actress's name is Ruby Rose. She plays a character on the show called Orange is the New Black. Never seen the show, I only have heard about it. And, but the funny fucking thing about it is the fact that I watched Ruby, which is by Rooster Teeth. And the main character in Ruby, her name is Ruby Rose. So sometimes I would just be on like Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr and I'd see people talking about Ruby Rose, but they're clearly not talking about Ruby. And I'm like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? And I find that it's uh, for this weird orange, this new black show that I've never heard of. And I'm like, what's going on here? And so I just, so like just now I saw a tweet by someone who mentioned, huh, well that's an interesting casting decision. Hashtag Ruby Rose, hashtag Batwoman. And like my eyes first went to the hashtags because they're in blue. And I'm like, what does Ruby Rose have to do with Batwoman? Like I was thinking about it from a Rooster Teeth perspective. 
I'm like, what's going on? Like, I didn't even know that this guy watched watch Ruby. Like, what's he talking about? And then it took me a bit, and then once I figured out what it was actually about, I was just... Oh. So... I don't know jack shit about Orange is New Black. I have no idea who Ruby Rose is as an actress. I don't know shit about her either. So... I don't know... This, co this, this casting decision makes absolutely no sense to me. Because I don't get it. That said... It's a far superior casting decision than the Starfire garbage that they pulled from Titans. So, I'll go with it. Okay, Jafar. Back to your lamp. Also, I just cleared Agrabah. In regards to who she is, as long as she sticks to the, uh... As long as she can accurately portray Batwoman, that's all that matters. And for the longest time, I thought Batwoman had... Long red hair. But I think I found out recently, or at least in... I think it was in Batman Bad Blood, which had Batwoman in it. That she doesn't actually. That's like a wig, or part of her outfit. And then that confused me as well, that kind of blew my mind. And I'm like, wait, I was wrong about that? She doesn't have long red hair? What's her name? Cat Kane? Is that it? I'm trying to think about how she looks and I don't remember. All I can think of is Batwoman. The black suit, the red bat logo, the red hair. So, uh, I don't know how Cat Kane looks like. Like, what does she look like? Does she have short hair? I don't know. Because, like, Ruby Rose, the image I just looked at her. Because I looked at the, uh, the EW article about it, and it has, like, a side-by-side -side of Ruby Rose and, uh, Batwoman. And, uh, it's just a, it's just a headshot of her. I don't know if that's exactly how the actress looks right now. But, uh, I'm just, I have no clue. Short red hair? Okay. And they could get that right and, you know, not fuck it up like Titans, where for some reason Starfire has some really terrible purple hair. But it's not even really hair, it's weird dreads for some reason that Starfire's never had in her fucking life. I don't know. I mean, and I know people are gonna be like, well, they can't do it correctly. Did, like, go watch the Aquaman trailer. Mera looks in incredible in that trailer. Like, she is accurate as fuck. Like, they nailed it when it came to Mera in the Aquaman trailer. Like, she looks perfect. And so it's like, totally doable. But I don't know. I mean, it, it all depends on... I mean, I'm thinking about Arrow and Flash, and so far, everyone in Arrow and Flash has been correct. Like, to their comic counterparts, everybody looks really good. Um, obviously, the, the Flash did the thing before it was an issue, where they made characters who weren't, you know, a certain ethnicity into another ethnicity. But at the same time... When the Flash did it, I wasn't. It wasn't like something that was this big thing that everybody complained about online, so it really didn't really bug me. Meddling, not muddling. So I didn't really care. Besides, everyone in the Flash is super cool. Um, and then they kill everyone, and it starts making me upset, which they haven't killed uh, anyone in a well. long time. Hello, you still have one wish left. Look, I did, did it again. Say the word. Ask me to find Jasmine for you. I... I wish for your freedom, Genie. Ow! Hey! 
A deal's a deal, Genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. You're your own master. But if you can, it'd be great if you could go along with them and help Sora find Jasmine. Hmm. Sorry, Al. I'm done taking orders from others. But... A favor? Now that's entirely different. I guess I could give that a try. After all, we're pals, right, Al? Genie. But yeah, I did it again. Just Wasn't that weird? Leave it to me. Went from just a text conversation to a cutscene. Is that just an agraba? <laughs> I'm actually gonna be paying attention now because if it happens again, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little like, what the fuck? It's just it's odd. <sighs> and that smarmy vizier could have had him. If someone had stuck around to give him a hand. Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? Jafar was beyond help, consumed by his own hatred. One should be aware of letting it burn too fiercely. Whoa, 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 lighten up. Uh, I'm as cool as they come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you. Her? We had a deal, yes. You help us, and we grant you your wish. Kairi! Go to her. Your vessel is waiting. Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. Why are you doing all this for me? What's the catch? Catch? What's the catch? Silly boy. You're like a son to me. I only want you to be happy. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. At what point does Riku actually truly realize he's being played? Or is he just an idiot the entire game is what I want to know. I really have no idea how Riku fell for all this shit. Anyway, um, check it out, everybody. The little known, the uh, what's the word? Oh, where's the share button? The little known fact about uh, not a little known fact, but a, little, a really dumb thing about Agraba. This only happens now. Once I leave and come back, it goes away. Look at this man. Can I zoom in? <laughs> Cocky little shit. Yeah, indeed. You know what? That actually makes sense. I, I could totally see that. But yeah, these, these Agrabah NPCs, for some reason, they only pop up at this point. Well, I guess because the world is clear after you seal the keyhole. But obviously it's not because it's a video game and they don't want you to not come back here, so they just make enemies spawn again. But, like, these two NPCs only ever appear at this point in the game. And they are very obviously just recolored and reclothed sprites of other characters, models of other characters. And they just... they're kind of here. I first discovered them the last time I played Kingdom Hearts. I don't remember how or why I was walking around. But I saw them, I'm like, holy shit, how long have these assholes existed? But they're just here. This guy is, obviously, you can, you can see him in Traverse Town, and the other character in the other room is just a recolored Waka. Which is, like, so blatantly obvious. I think they forgot to remove them. Maybe. It's so weird. Because the other guy's a recolored Waka. 
Like, if he was just a recolored generic NPC, then it'd be a little less weird, but it's Waka! <laughs> They're using Waka's model on him. Why? Gosh, it's so funny. I am going back to Traverse Town, but I won't be doing that. Okay, uh, so while I head back to Traverse Town to do a few things, which way do you want me to go, up or down? Not that it matters, but just tell me, up or down. And uh, we're gonna go back. There's only two of you, so if you pick a different thing, you're gonna have to agree to disagree, because I'm not gonna be a tiebreaker. You two figure it out. Three, I apologize. Commander Root is also here. So maybe he can be a tiebreaker. Or she. Well, thanks, Sid, but that's not actually what I wanted to know, asshole. I want to buy shit. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, haste, definitely. I just spent all my money on gummy ship parts. Yeah, whilst you guys decide on which direction I'm going to be heading, I'm going to build a new gummy ship. because blue is my favorite color. Let's put on some body parts. I always preferred the gummy ship editor in the first Kingdom Hearts. The second one never really stuck with me. And I did get better at it as time went on, but I still prefer the first one. Hmm, what else do I want? 
Missiles, right? Where are the missiles? What else can I put on here? Uh, where is those other functions? Here they are. Put that there. Let's get some wings on this shit. No. There we go. Slightly... Yeah, let's do that. Darn it. I just only have one of those. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that was coming. And I did it right into the mic. Oh no, I'm so sorry. That snuck up on me. I was not prepared. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Normally, I, I like I can I I do that uh huh uh thing you know like that that you do when the sneeze is coming. That time it just it just exploded out of me. It's like okay, dude, you're gonna sneeze now, and I'm like what? <laughs> no, no, I don't want that. No, 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 go back. Can I put on more weapons or am I or is four my max? Okay, alright, I thought so. Six is my max. Alright, he looks good. Very fat. Here we go, that's a new live stream. Live stream two, blue edition. He's not really that fast, but he is uh, well armored. Oh yeah. Thank you. I, I spent a lot of time making gummy ships in this stupid game. Uh, before we finish out the stream, I should hop into my, like, completed file and look at all the gummy ships I made there, because I have issues. Is this- I, I really do like this, uh, I don't know why this one, developing gummy ships in this game is so much more fun than in 2. Uh, I did get more used to how the system in Kingdom Hearts 2 works, but I think it's simply because it's more complex that it's less fun. I suppose. Granted, if I go into my other file and look at all those gummy ships, I think most of them are not for anything. Uh, they're just because, uh... Trials. Certain maps need you to complete certain objectives, and they made certain ones for that. Okay. Yeah, the synthesis shop. Sure, why not? It's not like I'm gonna use any of these things. Okay, equipment, uh... Donald, anything? Oh yeah, let's just... There we are. Okay, uh, what do you goof goof? Yeah, whatever, I don't know. I'm not really focusing. Oh! 
All right, so I don't think there's anything else I have to do here. I, I got the book, but uh, who cares about the hundred acre wood? Moving on. We're going top path. Not that it matters. Oh, I thought you said Battle Bug. Battle Bus. Like Fortnite? Oh yeah, this guy is definitely not fast. I'll worry about his speed later. Still much faster than the default gummy ship. I actually played a little Fortnite, simply because the game is free. I gave it a try. I'm not that good at it, to the surprise of no one. Oh, bombs! Or are these grenades? I think these are grenades. I could be wrong. I think bombs are supposed to be red. Yeah, those are bombs. Okay, here's why the path doesn't matter. Because regardless of which direction you choose, you always go to Monstro first. Although the direction you choose then determines Monstro's spawn point for the rest of the game. So he'll always there's always a chance that Monstro will appear if you take the top path from Agrabah now. Whereas if you take the bottom path, he'll never appear. Unless in the first place you put him on the bit on the Yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly where we're going. This is why Donald doesn't let you be Captain Sora, because you suck. I can't believe you actually get to go in that door. I still can't believe it. All these years later, see, Kingdom Hearts is all about the long con. This game freaking tricks you and it stabs you in the back. Okay. What are you guys doing? Where are we anyway? Whoa! 
Oh, you know, I think that big old whale monstro just swallowed us. And for today's weather, expect showers. Oh, heavy showers. Ow! Who's there? It's me. Oh, it's just Pinocchio. Pinocchio? Pinocchio? Pinocchio, where are you going? Pinocchio! Come on, everybody, after him, quick! So basically, we're Xenoblade 2 ing it now. It's just like in Xenoblade 2, the same. I just realized that these games have the same thing happen in them. You're on a ship, you're going somewhere, and all of a sudden, a gigantic thing, whether it's Monster or Uriah, decides to swallow you, and now you get to have an adventure inside the monster. Good times. What have you got there, Pinocchio? With this, we can get out of here, Father. Was never a really? fan of Pinocchio. With this big block, you think so? It's true. So, how did you end up here, Pinocchio? Oh my, so the whale swallowed all of you too? My goodness. Yeah, looks like it. My name is Geppetto. I'm Pinocchio's father. When we got separated, I traveled all over looking for him. Thank goodness we're together again. So, you seem to know Pinocchio quite well. I hope he was a good boy in my absence. Well, we've all had quite a journey, right, Pinocchio? Pinocchio! Alright. Pinocchio just walked away because we're all freaking idiots. So again, much like uh, Wonderland and how the confusion in that place led me to not liking it, this place has the exact same issue. Where when I first played it, I got lost. I was trying to find my way through the chambers, I wasn't sure where I had to go. And it's a freaking nightmare in here. So because of that, like, I hate this place. I hate you, what are you doing? fucking Come on, wood let's go back. puppet. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. Like, do you hear us saying things and then Pinocchio, he just walks away like around. he doesn't give a this shit? No time for games. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? W what are you doing here? Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kyrie? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Oh, come on! Okay, so he didn't just run away. He actually got... This isn't Dream Drop, where he just keeps walking. I thought he did, now Riku just grabs him. Riku's a piece of shit. Riku, look what you made me do, now I have to adventure through this nightmare. Nightmare hellscape of the inside of a whale. I thought we were friends, Riku, this is garbage. There's also a unique monster in this world. I don't think any of the unique monsters. Well, I doubt that any of them spawn until. Yeah, I think they don't. They don't spawn until the keyhole opens in the Hollow Bastion after the first visit there. Tech boost, nice. Oh great! I hate the search ghosts. They always decide to teleport away from me as soon as I'm gonna hit them, and then they teleport to like as far away as possible as they can go. It's just trolls.
Seriously? You're both gonna do this to me? That is not having a good day at all. In my opinion, the original Kingdom Hearts has like the worst collection of Heartless, in terms that a lot of them are just annoying to fight. Kingdom Hearts 2 definitely fixed a lot of that. There's not nearly as much in Kingdom Hearts 2 from what I recall. Seriously? Really? Nice, the barrel spiders. I forgot about those. They explode. It's very inconvenient. Wasn't sure if I could make that jump. I remember last time I played this game, uh, I, 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 uh, I was missing one of the torn pages. And I think it was in here. I don't remember where, but I know it was in here. And I got really annoyed because that meant I had to come back here. And since Monstro can't be, like, he can't absolutely appear every time or else he'll never get to the world behind him when you're taking a trip, but, like, it really sucked when you had to come back here. Alright, so where are we going? No, this is where we came from. Gosh, a little green thing just took my magic and healed itself. Okay, here we are. New area, I think. Come on. I opened it so quickly you couldn't stop me from it. Nice try, Heartless. Sorry about the thunder, if you can hear that. It's uh... Yeah, we had rain yesterday, we have thunder today. Clearly that means we're getting snow tomorrow, obviously. So which way do we go? I'm gonna try up here first. Hopefully I'm right. Oh yeah, I found Why it. Why do you still care about that boy? Yeah, aren't you supposed to be like with Hook? He has all but deserted you for the Keyblade and his new companions, after all. I don't care about him. I was just messing with him a little. Oh really? Of course you were. Beware the darkness in your heart. The heartless prey upon it. Mind your own business. What's the matter with you? 
What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, Sora. You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Do you even want to save Kairi? I do. Of course. Pinocchio, why do you why do you do these things? She actually more it's more it's more your fault. Like what do you mean showing off the keyblade? Jealous? Riku, you you vindictive little punk. You up for this? No problem. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm always in a constant state of how the fuck do these kids learn how to fight? Like, like, ugh. I mean, I guess, I guess they, they were hitting each other with the wooden sticks, so that's probably it. But still, it's like, what? The main thing is probably like the mi the Kamen Rider Ryuki thing, which is like one of my favorite things to bring up all the time. Cause in Kamen Rider Ryuki, dude, oh man, it's amazing watching the main character suck, getting his butt kicked by everybody, and then become like the best fighter in the entire show. It's amazing. The music just ended. That was weird. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please, give me back my son! Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy. He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure, but maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kairi? What do you care about her? I guess this is a question you gotta ask a lot. Where does the Ansem begin and the Riku end? Or, where does the Riku end and the Ansem begin? Something like that. It's really confusing. It's, it's like with Dream Drop. It's like, what part of that game was a dream and what part really happened? And like, at which point did they leave the dream and then come back into reality? Because I, I'm still unconvinced if that ever actually happened during the events of the game. It's absurd. I mean, the one, one tiny little detail would have made it make sense, and that's if we had a shot of Sora and Riku sleeping in a bed somewhere. That would have helped immensely, but it never happened. Ah, I just don't get it. Dream Drop doesn't make any sense. On a purely conceptual basis, I just don't understand what happened in that game. How much of it was real? I can't wait to get to it, cause maybe, maybe if I if I stream there and there's like ten people watching, maybe there's that between all of them they can give me the answers that I need.
Water Gleam, that's a Dumbo summon that I never use because, like, it's useless. Well, maybe he's not useless. I just don't know, like, what Dumbo's deal is. I don't know if he's actually useful or... I just don't know. So I don't use him. Of course, it could be like a Kingdom Hearts 2 thing where I never used magic or summons. And I discovered later that they're actually incredibly useful and I'm an idiot for not using them, but who knows? Almost done with Monstro, we just need to get to the top of the throat and do the boss fight against the prison cage again. Just ignore these guys. They're just too annoying to fight them, constantly falling down and up. Or falling down and then climbing back up this area sucks. Hey! Let Pinocchio go, Riku! A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Germany. I'm not gonna make it. Oh. 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 oh! I guess I'm okay! Huh? Wow, Riku disassociated so hard that he just vanished too. How are the bad guys so good at this? It's not fair. That's, oh my gosh, it's just it's not happening. It is not happening. Don't turn to me, you smiley motherfucker. Gosh, this sucks. I mean, if it doesn't work, just keep doing it, right? That's my strategy when it comes to games. Like, it'll work eventually, I got this. Stop stuffing your insides in. That's disgusting. Nailed it. Attain the power of time. Stop. So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, 
and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Soon, Kari. Soon. Hey, done with Monstro, no big deal there. Alright, yeah, I need it. Of course, they would never just put us back on the route. Already another tournament? Man, that unlocked a lot faster than I thought it would. Yeah, some of the achievements for, uh, like some of the challenges for the gummy ship missions are like destroy every single obstacle, which I guess means like every single one of these things. I'm like, how do you do that? There's just so many of them. Anyway, with Monster done, we're moving on to our next actual objective, which is, uh, I don't know. I forget what's on the top path. Die, bombs, die! That's what I was doing, Goofy, until you rudely interrupted me. Wow, that was a big ship. I don't even know what the Oh, of course. Did you know this? Is that why you sent me here? No, I absolutely do not think so. So, funny thing about Halloween Town in Atlantica. Uh, so, first things first, Halloween Town crashed on me when I originally played the game, so hopefully it doesn't do it again. And, um, Halloween Town and Atlantica are actually bugged in the emulator. So, when you try to play this game 
this this world and Atlantica, you can't complete them in an emulator. At least not in a modded emulator. In a modded ROM, I mean. Because, like, Final Mix is only released in Japan. Uh, oh. Yeah, Final Mix is only out in Japan. So, people people have created patches to translate it to English if you want to play it as a ROM, which is how I played it originally. If the issue, for some reason, is that it bugs the boss fights against Ursula and, uh... Oogie Boogie. For Oogie Boogie, uh, it becomes, like, impossible to... I forget why it is that he's impossible to beat. What doesn't happen during his fight? And now, allow me to introduce the master of terror, the king of nightmares, Jack Skellington! Bravo, Jack! Bravo! Those ghosts will be a big hit at this year's Halloween! Thank you, thank you. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone-chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. Then I'll go attend to the decorations. Jeez. There's a lot of cool people. Uh, cool characters, side characters in The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's kind of sad that they don't have any of them here. They, But they do have like the entire main cast. They got Jack, the Mayor, Sally, the Professor, Lockshock, Barrel, Oogie Boogie. I mean, you know, they hit like all the notes that they had to hit. So that's fine. I guess we'll just never know what is the thing that's under your bed. That guy's scary. I don't understand. Maybe the guidance system was damaged in the explosion. Nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all that complicated. Ah, let's get to work. To make a heart, First, take a container with a lock. We need the key to this thing first! Good times in this world. Always a fun. Oh, Donald, where's like, why are you never fun to hang around with? My, that was amazing. Uh, and you are. Sora. Well done, Sora. I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween. What's this Heartless doing here? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. Oh, that's so, the frustrating part? The doctor part? and I are trying to improve the guidance system. He's quite a genius. Okay, doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. It's a really nasty looking thing they got there. Maybe we're missing some ingredients. Let's try adding memory. Sally? Sally! Good for nothing girl! Don't know why I bothered creating her! Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down! No problem. Sora, 
Would you like to come along? Sure. It's like, hey, would you like to hang out with Jack Skellington? Who the fuck would say no? Alright, then let's go. Okay, so the first step in this, uh, this quest is to do some, uh... Jack! We have a major crisis! Uh, fetching. The Heartless are completely out of control! We can't stop them! Hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. People only say that when there's something to worry about. Halloween Town is also actually a little difficult to navigate. That's mainly because like getting through areas, through some of the areas requires you to you need to wipe out all the enemies around or something, you know, to activate certain other things. But it's not nearly as bad as Divine. It's nothing lower. That was still the worst thing ever. But I, I like it because uh, Halloween Town is actually a really good place to train. That's where I did a lot of it, a lot of grinding. Hiding! I asked the White Knights, how could you forget? Mummy dudes. Nailed it! We got this world on lock. Zero, have you seen Sally anywhere? Huh? Is something wrong, Jack? No, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now is your memory. Memory? You mean this? Sure. Jack, I have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Once we give the Heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envision it. Trust me, you're going to love it. Oh, really? Obviously, it's all gonna go well. Nothing ever goes wrong in these situations. Oh, you gotta go? Where are you headed? What's ongoing?
cars. Right, how long do you think that'll take? Surprise, the mayor has surprise. I remember that part. Bonehead Jack is really making a heart. <laughs> I'll be jiggered. That works for me. Jiggered. Ooh, what the hell does that mean? Hands on that. Well, I've got no hands, but I'm still gonna nab that heart and control that. Well, I need to take some time to eat anyway. Uh, I haven't eaten any lunch, so I'll probably do that. Uh, depending on when you come back, maybe I'll do another stream. I'll continue. If that's alright, I got no problem with that. We went for a little over two hours. I think that's okay. Uh, once again, that makes me really bummed that I didn't start playing sooner. But it's cool. I do need food, so I'm gonna get myself some food. And also, I need to finish uh, uh, Godzilla vs. Hedera. So that'll be fun. Maybe even start watching another one. I, I, I can make some good use of this time. And then we can pick up for a later stream tonight. And uh, finish uh, Halloween Town, Atlantica, maybe uh, Wonderland, and after that, I don't know, I guess it depends on how I feel. Because Wonderland is super quick. So I'm just gonna go save and then we'll call it there. So if you gotta go, uh, feel free to take off. Uh, thanks for sticking by as always. It's gonna be super fun to get all, through all these Kingdom Hearts games. I really hope that you uh, start saving up, like in advance I'm really saying that you need to save up something to help you stomach the repeti repetitiveness that's going to be Chain of Memories. Because I'm already thinking about that again. Even on beginner I could totally imagine it being very repetitive. Alright, let me take a quick look at my gummy ships that I want to do that before I close off this stream. Uh, where's my 100% file? Now he has Sora, Donald, and Goofy with the Save the King, Save the Queen, the ultimate weapon. Yeah, what happened here? I mean, look at our stats. Oh my gosh, this is so insane. It's like a staunch difference from how we were just like five seconds ago. Oh, look at that monstrosity. I have no idea what that is. So there's the high wind, there's the default one. Basically, I just kept adding new things onto it as the game progressed. So it looks like a smorgasbord of shit. Uh, star block. I don't know what the hell this thing is, but there it is. I don't know why I called it that. Yellow shot. I don't know what this guy is either. He seems very secure though, so that's cool. Has a big mustache. Vast white. Oh wow, that one actually looks super awesome. That's my Reshiram. Uh, my, my Reshiram. Thing. Although, why did I call this one Vast White and then the next one's Dark Matter? Reshiram is the Vast White Pokemon. Zekrom is the Deep Black Pokemon, I think. So I screwed up big time. But there's Dark Matter. Which should be Deep Black. I don't know why it's not, that doesn't make any sense, but it looks cool too. I guess- oh, okay, missions. Alright, so this is not the specific gummy ship, but this is the model that I use for the mission gummy ships. So this is where I create the one that I need for all the respective missions. Uh, so if I need a certain- if I need a gummy ship that can survive a lot of damage, I guess I made this one. And so on and so forth. So I'll delete it when I'm going to take on another mission and make a new one in a spot. And M2 is probably the same thing. Just two different mission slots, depending on whichever uh, thing I got to do. So yeah, these things look really cool. These ones look really cool. Like, wow, I like them. So yeah, that was <laughs> just, just having some fun. Alright, so that's the end of this Kingdom Hearts stream. I'm gonna go eat food and then we'll be back 
Uh, maybe later today, who knows, and I'll continue. Because we gotta finish the fuck out of this game, and then we all gotta get excited for tomorrow. Oh yeah, look, little stamp for 100% completion, yay. And then, uh... And then, uh... Oh yeah, and then tomorrow, Smash Bros. Everybody get ready for that shit, it's gonna be nuts. Alright, and then just exit out, title screen, all that shit. If you want to leave now, you can. I'm gonna try to get into the PlayStation Store and take a look and see if Siphon Filter's there. Because I have no idea if it is. If I can't even get into the PlayStation Store, then next time, but who knows. Alright, come on. Man, see ya! Hope you had a lot of fun. Because I have a lot of fun. How can you not have fun playing Kingdom Hearts? It's so good. Alright, where's the store? How do I get to the store? No, I can just get in here. Alright, cool. Um, just for me? Oh, No Man's Sky! A friend of mine actually wants to play No Man's- wants me to play No Man's Sky. Oh, Spire- oh, there it is! It is real! The Kingdom Hearts all-in-one package. It contains 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, Read more. PS4 custom keyblade? Mm, I was like, ooh, maybe, maybe I'll get it. Aw, oh, man, there's exclusive stuff to it. But I just realized that I already own all those games. Whatever, at least it's there. There's Spyro! Oh, Spyro's only 40 bucks? Dude, totally. Totally what I want. Hero Bundle. Oh, that sounds cool, but also, like, I want a physical copy. I'm a stickler for physical copies. Oh, the final season of The Walking Dead, huh? I still haven't finished the, the new season. I don't know what the latest season was before that. Alright, let's uh, do this. Let's use the search function. Uh, let's, we're gonna search for Chrono first. Just because I'm like, just want to see if maybe it just wasn't updated. Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend. I don't know what that is. Nope, it looks like that's the only thing in this entire eShop or uh, PlayStation Store that has Chrono in it. Yep, that's it. Bummer. It's not even Chrono Trigger, that's surprising. I, mean, I don't like Chrono Trigger as much as Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is better, but still. No, they don't let me choose P, which means I guess Siphon Filter isn't here either. Are you fucking kidding me? Man, PlayStation Store, you suck ass. You don't have anything good. Like, what's the point of you if this is... If this is... If this is what you do to me. Garbage. Alright, well, uh, that's for the end of this stream. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.